Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. Now that you've obviously got this boxing match mm. that we will talk about in a short while, I imagine, um, what other kind... Are you doing like a lot of skipping... Is it a lot of... Yeah, so, you know, I'm not like... I don't really do skipping, to be honest. Really? Just, yeah, no. I'm, I mean, I'm doing a lot of bag work now, obviously. Right. Um, do, um, I've got someone um, in my gym, a local gym, that does circuits for me. And he literally nice. puts me right through my paces and literally until I cannot move. Mm. Um, <laughs> you, you know, he's, he's going, carry on, carry on. And it's just, it's just impossible to move. And I just said, look, it's just impossible to move. I said, yeah, I've done my job then. You know? So <laughs> I'm doing... boxing chain. Yeah, yeah. yeah so um, I'm doing a lot. He's He's been brilliant, actually, to be fair. What oh. is your fight plan to be? Is it six... Two minute rounds. Uh, five. Five two minute five, rounds. Five two minute rounds. That's so. tiring. That is. Have you oh. done any sparring for that yet? Uh, it's just started. Hence the black eye. Say, so, yeah. 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 So just um, just started. I've had two sparring sessions, um, but I'm gradually going to be picking it up and doing it more regularly. And I'm and I'm like sparring against someone that's a lot taller and bigger. Yeah. yeah. And me, for those so. people that are watching this that don't know who you're boxing, you are boxing Ed Matthews. Ed Matthews. Yeah. Ticky Tocky. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's just when I, every every time I say his name, I'm like, oh, I just want to get in there. So. <laughs> when's the fight? Um, 16th of July. 16th of July. Yeah, O2 Indigo. Yeah. O2 Indigo. Yeah. Oh, I was where, I was I was next to it last night. Was it? Went for a curry at the O2. <laughs> yeah. There was yeah. someone performing. I was like, there's the Indigo. That's yeah. quite sick, you know. Mm. That's well said. Is there any other undercards and stuff? Yeah, there's um, there's one. It's Astrid and now. Oh, yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah, I've seen oh, that. they're actually fighting? Yeah, they're fighting. Oh, wow. Literally. That is going to be outrageous. Yeah, that's, that's the fight before ours. And there's a, there's a couple others that have been arranged. I can't say yet because they want to okay, yeah. announce them and everything. But and then but they're looking to get, I think, six undercards. So six. So it's going to be a proper yeah. event. So, yeah. Is it fancy jumping on? <laughs> Absolutely not. Man. Yeah. I'm, in a good, I'm in a good rhythm at the moment. Yeah? Yeah, not fighting rhythm. Maybe I'm in a good it. fitness rhythm. <laughs> Maybe I'll throw it back. What versus me? Nah, me and Joe have a rematch. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that'd that, that'd be like brilliant. Yeah. Wouldn't it? I'd, <laughs> absolutely, I'd absolutely love that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you're going to win? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm confident. I mean, I wouldn't get in a ring if I didn't think I was going to win. Of course, yeah. But yeah. I'm not going to be. I'm not not, not going to be like him. He's a cocky little shit, and he so he's out there going, "Yo, I'm going to fucking knock him out in the first round and yeah. all this." So let him do all the talking. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm realistic you know I know what the situation is I've got to I've got to train hard and be at my best ability and my best fitness to beat him I know that you know I'm not stupid you know um, I suppose he's young he's exactly and he, to be fair he's in good shape isn't yeah, he, he is, yeah. I mean, he's, he's in really good shape I mean yeah. to be fair to him he is you know that's the only compliment I'm going to give him but yeah. he is in a, in a good shape and I know that I've got to Give my all and put myself through the paces to win that fight. I'm not. I'm not yeah. stupid. You know. Mm. I'm not going to go out there and say you're going to smash him up in two rounds. Yeah. I suppose he could, he, How did this come about? Oh my god. Yeah, because we, 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 we've we've got the overarching story yeah. of the but from over the horse's mouth, like the the tale of how it happened. It started off regarding like Cow the Dragon, obviously. The man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, yeah. So every, everybody, everybody knows Cal. I mean, he he was my uh, my daughter was reasonably big on on TikTok at the time, and she said to me, "Oh, uh, Dad, why don't you uh, why don't we do a dance on TikTok? We we'll put it on my account. See how it goes." So done a dance. I wasn't even on TikTok. Didn't even know what it was to be fair. Yeah. And uh, put a, put a dance on. It got to one point two million. <laughs> Come views. on, and just the like, first one you yeah, posted. Yeah, and I was like, what the what is going on here? You cracked I mean, it already. Yeah. yeah, and everybody was like, get your dad to get his own account, get his dad to... <laughs> so literally, I started my own account. It sort of like, it grew. Um, I was was around my house. Keely was on a, on a live, and then she went live with Cal because she was friends with Cal. And um, she said, oh, this is Cal Dragon. I went, yeah. All right, mate, how you doing? I didn't even know who he was, you know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't know who anybody was, you know? It's like, so I started talking to him, and then, then I, I realised he's sort of... On his life, he was getting so much hate and grief, and it was yeah. upsetting him yeah. and, and stuff. And I thought, God, this lad needs a bit of backup here. You know, yeah. I mean, this is bullshit. You know, yeah. people, people being it's like ruthless, that. To be honest, man. It Social is ruthless. media is horrible. Yeah, it's really ruthless. Yeah, and there's no need for it either. You know, and um, so I, I just sort of got to know him, and he said, "Oh, do you want to go live?" But yeah, so go live. We went, started going live with him. Um, Sort of started sort of looking in, looking out for him behind the scenes, and you know I saw the people that was trying to take the piss out of him, yeah. and, 
and try to use him for clout and stuff like that. And I used to message him and um, say, look, leave it out. Unless you actually, <laughs> unless you actually really mean it, leave yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they did, you know, and people didn't see what I'd done behind the scenes for him. You know, I'd done yeah. a lot trying to back him back him up. So I was doing all this and because people didn't see anything behind the scenes, Ed Matthews started chirping up and saying, and saying oh, yeah, like simple Simon's... Um, Using cow for clout, and he's like, you know, he's out of all he, he's, you know, it just, just all, you know, just all stuff. That yeah. no, there was no need, and um, and my daughter started sort of um, like sticking up for me. Of course, you know, she would because yeah. that's what you do with family. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And uh, she started sticking up for me. I was trying to. I was trying to go live with Ed and, and say to him, you know, look, mate, this is nothing to do with that. I'm actually a genuine bloke and I actually care for the lad and, yeah. you know, he's autistic. He's got a few mental health problems. I yeah. want to look after him. Yeah, and he was yeah. going, no, nah, fuck off, mate. You're just doing it for clout and all that. So my daughter, daughter stepped in. Then he started digging my daughter out. And, okay. and that is like, then as soon as you start doing that, yeah, then yeah. You're, you're digging my family out and you're digging me out. And then, you know, it's a different story completely. Yeah. So he was, um, he was putting these clips up Keely saying he's gonna, you know, I don't really want to yeah, you know, yeah. go into it That's really fine. too much because I just want to grab him around the neck and punch him now, you know. <laughs> yeah. But um, you know, he was saying all this stuff um about my daughter, which was not acceptable. So I said, look, let's go live, mate. Let's try to get this sorted. Like proper like adults. He's nineteen. He ain't he ain't a kid anymore. Yeah, do yeah. you know what I mean? He's nineteen. He's an adult. And let's try to sort it out. So we went live, and he was he just wouldn't have any of it. He was just typical, you know. Typical teenager thinks he's better than what he is. So. Thinks it's all a joke as That's well. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So he done that, and then he said, "Well, oh, you know, I'm calling you out. I want to, I want to fight you. I want to do this and do that." I said, "Look, I don't want to fight. Let's, let's try to sort it out." And it just got to a stage where we'd done one live, and he put this picture up of my daughter, um, like with her in a, you know, in, in his bikini and stuff like that, and in, in front of like thousands and thousands of people. And I thought, fuck this, you know, I, I'm sorry to swear. I don't no, know, don't really swear, but it's, it <laughs> winds me up so much. So that's the only time I yeah. swear when I'm talking about him. And then um, and then uh, we was on the live and he, and he called me out again. And then he turned the live off like that. He called me something and had a dig at me and turned the live off. I thought, no, I ain't having it. So I put, went back on live and he accepted back on live. And I said, okay, mate, let's have it. Let's do this. Um, and, and that was as of how long ago? No, it's, it's probably quite a long time ago. It was, it was about three months ago, I think, something okay. like that. So it's quite it was quite a long time ago. So there's lots of stuff sort of happened in between, mm-hmm. and um, you know, I was I was up for it. I said, yeah, let, let's do it. But I wanted to do it the right way. You know, I'm not, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to go in in the back garden and have a punch up. And, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, you know, I'm 50, 52 now. You know, yeah. by the way, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, where and you know, and I don't want you know. I, wanted to do it the right way so so I got a bit of protection you know and well I mean as well as I suppose that it's all started through TikTok and social media that it's best to kind of finish it all in the public eye if that yeah. makes sense you know so man there's no I think there's no better way to do it because it's a you know it's a legal boxing match yeah hmm. absolutely which you, you're all going to follow the rules it's, it's it'll be judged there'll be yeah. you know the security is I think it's the, it's the the good way of settling it isn't it yeah well, it's how, it's how YouTube or like online beef is drawn a line in nowadays, isn't it? What can I say? You're, it, what what can can I say? <laughs> You're the expert. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's been a while, three, four years now Now we're here. Is that how many it's been? Four years? Yeah, since yeah 2017. You enjoy in that gym. Five years. Is That's it, what I thought, yeah. Five, five years? years. August 2017. <laughs> Holy shit. Feels like yesterday. Oh, 